Welcome to Most Wanted US. Please remember all subjects are wanted as of the date of this video upload. Please remember all individuals you're about to see are considered armed and dangerous and should not be approached by non-law enforcement officers. You can remain anonymous when submitting a tip and you may be eligible for a reward. I will leave information on each profile on how to submit a tip. On April 12, 1997, a homicide victim was found on Highway 1 south of Lompoc. Investigation led to the issuance of a warrant charging murder and robbery to Israel Laganas, Guadarrama. Additionally, there was an unlawful flight to avoid prosecution warrant issued in federal court. It is believed he fled to Mexico. Israel Luganas Guadarrama is wanted for murder. He's described as a Hispanic male, 5'4", 120 pounds with black hair brown eyes. His birth date is January 25th, 1976. If you have any information on Israel, please contact the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department. On Sunday, August 3, 1969, the body of a murder victim was found by hunters near a quarry on Highway 1, south of Lompoc. The victim's identity was not established following a lengthy investigation, hence the Jane Doe identity. She died from multiple stab wounds. Jane Doe is described as being a white female between 16 and 25 years of age, approximately 5 foot 4 and about 125 pounds with medium brown colored shoulder length hair. Jane Doe had pierced ears, current dental work, and most notably, buck teeth. Jane Doe was wearing what appeared to be a homemade clothing with flower print. The clothing appeared consistent with that worn by youth during this time period. Jane Doe's remains were buried at the Lompoc Cemetery in 1969. In 2001, Sheriff's Department detectives, in conjunction with the noted Arthur Sue Grafton, exhumed Jane Doe's remains. Tissue samples were obtained for DNA comparison purposes. Jane Doe's skull and jaw were sent to forensic reconstructive artists who created a rendition of Jane Doe's appearance. Sue Grafton's newest novel, Q, is for Corey, is loosely based on the investigation into the murder of Jane Doe, 1969. Jane Doe is a murder victim. Jane Doe is described as a white female, 5 foot 4, 125 pounds with brown hair on known eyes. She was between the ages of 16 and 25 years old. If you think you have any information on Jane Doe, please contact the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department. Sergio Tapia Zendejas murdered his supervisor on June 13, 1998 in the area of Union Sugar and Central Avenue in Lompoc. Zendejas is believed to have fled to Mexico to avoid apprehension and prosecution. His last known address was 533 North T Street, Unit Number G in Lompoc, California.
Sergio Tapia Zendejas is wanted for murder. He's described as a Hispanic male, 5'6", 165 pounds with brown hair, brown eyes. His birth date's October 2nd, 1969. If you think you have any information on Sergio, please contact the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department. At approximately 12.03 a.m. on Thursday, December 16, 2010, Sheriff's deputies responded to the 4500 block of Aragon Drive in Carpinteria on a report of a person who had been stabbed. When they arrived to the area, Sheriff's deputies found a man with several stab wounds who said he had just escaped from his attackers a short time before. According to the victim, he had voluntarily driven as a passenger with one of the suspects to a residence in Carpinteria. The suspect got out of the vehicle and entered a residence while the victim waited in the car. The suspect returned shortly with two other suspects who also got in the car before all four men drove away together. The victim says a short time later, the suspects attacked him by punching and stabbing him multiple times. The victim was able to free himself from the suspects and jump out of the vehicle. He ran away and called 911. The suspects drove off. The victim of the stabbing, who was a resident of Carpinteria, was taken by ambulance to the hospital where he was treated and released for non-life-threatening injuries. Through their investigation, Santa Barbara Sheriff's detectives have identified the three suspects, two of whom were arrested. A third man remains at large. Arrested and booked into the Santa Barbara County Jail on a charge of attempted murder are Daniel Esquivel, a Carpinteria resident, and Daniel Duran, who is a Carpinteria resident as well. Still outstanding is Manuel Lopez, who is a Carpinteria resident. He has numerous tattoos, including a distinctive large C tattooed on his right cheek and a large tattoo around his neck. Manuel Lopez Jr., a.k.a. Wino, is wanted for attempted murder. He's described as a Hispanic male, 5'6", 140 pounds with black hair, brown eyes. His birthday is May 29, 1979. If you think you have any information on Emmanuel, please contact the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department. On October 9, 1993, when a 16-year-old female resisted Zoniga's romantic advances in the backseat of his car, he shot her in the head with a small caliber handgun. Near death for several months, the victim has partially recovered, but is still undergoing physical and emotional therapy. Immediately after the shooting, Zoniga returned to his home in Guadalupe, California, hid the gun, then fled to the Los Angeles area where family members live. The whereabouts of Juan Ramon Zoniga, whose street name is Kojak, are unknown. Juan Ramon Zoniga is wanted for attempted murder. He's described as a Hispanic male, 5'8", 150 pounds with brown hair, brown eyes. His birth date's March 16, 1974. If you have any information on the whereabouts of Juan, please contact the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department.
On June 29, 1994, Jose Alfredo Gonzalez Diaz attempted to rob Kim's Market, a small grocery store in Carpinteria, California. In the process, he shot and seriously wounded a male clerk and a female bystander. Fleeing the market, he drove to nearby Santa Barbara and successfully robbed a gas station. However, in the process, he shot himself in the leg or foot. Diaz was pursued back to Carpinteria, but with the help of friends or relatives, was able to escape. It was thought that Jose Diaz had fled to the Anaheim area, where he has relatives, or to Mexico. In the later months, there have been unconfirmed reports of sightings of Diaz in the Carpinteria area. The Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department holds a no-bail warrant for the arrest of Jose Diaz on two counts of attempted murder. Diaz is known to have a 38 caliber chrome or stainless steel revolver in his possession and must be considered armed and dangerous. His last known address was 125 Holly, Unit No. 5 in Carpinteria, California. Jose Alfredo Gonzalez Diaz is wanted for attempted murder. He's described as a Hispanic male, 5'7", 140 pounds with brown hair, brown eyes. His birthday is September 15, 1969. If you have any information on Jose Alfredo Gonzalez Diaz, please contact the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department. The Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department has a no bail warrant for the arrest of Wei Miao, also known as William Miao. Miao is wanted for the murder of Chung Yung Ping, a citizen of the People's Republic of China, who was bludgeoned to death in Los Angeles in June of 1991. The victim's body was found in Santa Barbara County, stuffed in a rural culvert with his head covered in a plastic bag. When detectives attempted to contact Miao in the Los Angeles area, he fled to Tijuana, Mexico, where he obtained a temporary passport from the Chinese consulate. He is known to have traveled to Mexico City in June of 1991, and that he obtained a passage on a merchant ship to London, England. His present whereabouts are unknown, though it is suspected that he may have made his way to Hong Kong, where a family member is reported to own a bakery shop. Wei William Yao is wanted for murder. He's described as an Asian male, 5'9", 170 pounds with black hair, brown eyes. His birth date's April 21st, 1958. If you think you have any information on Wei William Miao, please contact the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department. That does it for this episode. Thanks for watching.